Where do I start when I want to move to a new space? That question, we get that a lot. It's very important and it's a very valid question. There are five steps to provide you clarity. Number one, know who you are, what you want to create, and what kind of practice do you want to have? Knowing that your why, meaning what kind of practitioner are you, what's your specialty, and who you want to serve as your patients. Are your patients are younger generation, they are elderly, uh, how do you want to perform to them? What is that end result? When you close the door of your office, how do you want to feel? Uh, what kind of uh, experience you want to create for your for your patients, for your staff? It's really important. It's, it's a lot of um, abstract work, but it's totally worth it. That's number one, knowing who you are, what you want to create. Number two, you want to make sure that you look for a prime location. Having a medical, specialized medical broker is very important, right? So knowing that if you're a GI doctor versus a plastic surgeon, your prime location is so different than the specialty that you have from another doctor. So communicate that and the why, the practice that you did from the first step is gonna really help you when you go looking for uh, a prime location. So prime location, it varies from one doctor to another. Get clarity on that. Number three is the square footage. The square footage of this space is very important uh, because if your startup has a different um, square footage requires for a doctor than someone who's been in a practice for 10 to 20 years. Get help from either your designer or your broker who specialize both of them in medical that what kind of a square footage you want. A 2000 square feet is great for you. Are you exiting soon in a five to 10 years or you're just a startup and you require to have a larger space because you, you're accounting and you're calculating for your growth. Right? And it really, really helps you with, with um, the space planning that has a high flow into it. Uh, if you require two exam rooms, then you don't get a space that you, know, you can fit four exam rooms because it's gonna be a wastage of time and energy. Number four is how long you wanna stay in that space. Usually the lease terms are three years, five years, seven years, or 10 years. The amount of investment and energy and design that it goes to space that is three to five years lease is totally different than the one it's gonna be for seven to 10 years. Usually when you work with a professional, medical, specialized broker and designers or architect, they will bring that question up. However, if you know it ahead of, ahead of time, you're ahead of the game. And number five is knowing your team, your project, your move, the, the, the flow of this whole process will be as good as the team you put together. And maybe you ask, like, what is a team? Team is your designer, your architect, your um, general contractor, and sometimes it requires the MEP engineer. What is MEP engineer stands for M for mechanical, P for plumbing, E for electrical. So usually there's one architect that does all these three. So when you have this group, this team, while you're thinking that you want to move, you can ask questions, you can really get them involved, so you play and plan ahead of time. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope that helps you, and I wish you a great healing journey ahead.